Ah, kia ora, Stephen. Howdy, how are you going? Would you like to introduce yourself first? Tell us who you are. Sure, uh, my name's Stephen Lethbridge and um, I'm lucky enough to be principal of um, Topaki School in the northwest of Auckland. So it's in between Kumu and Huapai in the heart of wine country. Nothing close to Marlborough wine country, but it's, um, it's a bit of paradise up here. Excellent. We've got you online today to talk about um, social media and how you use it. So, you, like, you're a busy principal and you yep. use social media, but um, how come? Um, probably for the fact that I'm a busy person. And um, I suppose before I started using social media um, for connections, I was always a very connected type person. Um, I worked with lots of other like-minded people. Um, and we'd get together and we'd meet. But I suppose for me, the, with the advent especially of, of Twitter, because I'm not really into Facebook, um, I'm a bit of a, a Twitter um, junkie, I suppose. Um, with the advent of Twitter, I can make those connections um, anytime, anywhere, and any place. So basically, I, you know, I can connect with people from all over the world and have short dialogue, but the, then comes the option of taking that offline or taking that into another format, uh, a form of com uh, communication and conversation um, as, the, as the, the depth of the, the dialogue uh, develops. What do you do to actively um, create a personal learning network? What do you have to do I, to I get... I suppose... You know, um, it's interesting because we talk about this with, with teachers. You know, I, I'm a prolific tweeter. So if I go to a conference or a session, I take notes via Twitter. Um, because if you can capture the essence of what's being said in 140 characters, you're actually doing quite well. You know, you can capture key points or key moments or key ideas. And then you can tweet them out. And anyone who's following you can comment or can say, hey, that's interesting, have you tried looking at this? Or this is aligned with what we're doing. And so that helps to cultivate a group of people who have a similar vision or a similar th thought pattern to, to what I have. What I'm really interested in, though, is those people who really disagree. And so there's lots of people who would, would tweet in a stream, oh, no, I don't really think that because of this. And it's those conversations that, you know, when you start to clarify your own mental models about what should, you know, what good learning should be, um, that's the dialogue that really is interesting for me. So it's a matter of following following teachers. I mean, I made the, 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 the Twitter first time a mistake of following Stephen Fry. You know, because everyone seems to follow <laughs> Stephen Fry. And, you know, tweeted him a couple of times, and I was really upset when he didn't reply. Um, but, you know, everyone goes through that phase of, you know, following famous people. Um, but then it's about um, connecting with hashtags and connecting with streams, so the EdChat New Zealand hashtag or the EdChat UK or, um, you know, modern learning environments. Um, hashtags, and then looking at other people who I know and respect, looking at their timelines, and looking at who they follow, and then thinking, oh great, that's a person that I might like to follow as well. So creating that network, for me, has been almost by default, because people who respond to what I say, I usually end up following them and, and starting to strike up an ongoing conversation. Have you had any issues around things that have gone wrong, like digital citizenship, um, pupils that might have been following yep. you, or unsavoury characters? How do you cope with that sort of thing? Um, there is a wonderful block tool. Um, you know, the, the thing that you have to go to uh, keep in the back of your mind is that these are, um, you know, especially tweeting, it's there, it's public, everyone can see it. So I've got parents, some parents who follow me and what I say. So in the last couple of days, you know, I mean, a bit of context, we're in John Key's electorate. So he's oh, our excellent. local MP. Um, you know, John Key follows my Twitter stream, and that's probably why he hasn't visited the school in a very long time. Doesn't um, have to. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to, but also probably, you know, I'm very vocal about 
you know, what I think in terms of national standards or what I think in terms of, um, especially lately, the GCSB bill and its intrusion into, you know, the, the, the possibilities that could happen. Um, so, you know, I'm conscious of the fact that some of the parents at school follow me and they are ardent national supporters. Mm. But um, there's been no issues around mm. that. You know, there's just gentle, friendly ribbing in the morning. Oh, I see you're giving mm. the Prime Minister a bit of a hard time last <laughs> night. Yep, yep, <laughs> he deserves it, you know, because he's being an egg. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, there's those sorts of things. Mm. There's the – a couple of students have started to cotton onto Twitter, especially in our Year 7 and 8 area. Even though I think, according to the terms and conditions, they're actually not allowed to mm. because they're not over 13. Um, I haven't blocked them, but I don't engage with them. Mm. And I don't engage with them because this is my professional mm. network. This is, this is my professional network. They, so, so I'm also mindful of the fact that whatever I tweet or whatever I put out there, anyone can see. So if I'm not prepared to say it face to face, I won't tweet it, mm. if that makes any sense. Mm. Yeah, you can't say it personally, you wouldn't say it online either. Yeah, no, definitely yeah. not. That's what that's what direct messaging's yeah. for. You can vent off yeah. with someone else on the <laughs> side. <laughs> Thank um, you, Stephen. Yeah. That's great. Um, and I'll put a link to your um, Twitter ID and hopefully we can get some um, people joined up. And so if you get a little rash of people from Marlborough signing up, um, you'll yep. know where it came, all came from. I mean, there's some, there's some great people out there to follow, really good things to pick up on, great. I mean, where else can you have a conversation? You know, I, I tweeted Sagata Mitra um, uh, commenting on one of his blog posts, uh, and then he tweets back and we have a dialogue. Wow, fantastic. Indeed. I mean, go to the source, not cut out yeah. the middleman. You know, we set up a, a dinner with Nikki Kay via Twitter. Mm. Um, no one had ever met, but we all turned up, uh, and there she was. You know, there's, it's this. You know, people say that social media can be. Well, you know, you're always focusing at your screen or something like that, and it doesn't mean that you're making real connections. But I would argue that the the connections you're actually making are more real because you can be. You know, you can go wide, right. and lots of like-minded people. I went away to the UK for five weeks and stayed in a motel for two nights. I called in all my Twitter favors. It was great. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing connecting mm. tool. Mm. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Have a great no day. Worries. Cheers. Bye. Bye.